is going on YouTube? It's that Tosmo here, and I bring you another Wi-Fi battle here on a lovely Thursday morning. And this is against a follower of mine, I believe, named Nova One Thousand. He's a longtime follower of mine, and he decided to have a monotype battle with me on screen. So let's look at the monotypes. As you can see, right off the bat, it looks like his team has a big disadvantage, but you'll you'll see that his team is causing a lot of problems. He has one surprising set that you'll see. Well, not really a set, but you're going to find out. So on my team, I have Rotom Wash, Tentacruel, Ludicolo, Quillfish, Terracosta, and Gyros. This was just a mono water team that I threw together. I've since, you know, changed it around and fixed it. But, yeah. My opponent has um, Rapidash, Pyroar, Embor, Delphox, Houndoom, and Volcarona. So let's get right on to the battle right now. I mean, nothing really needs to be said. He's got a huge disadvantage, or so we think. I'm going to lead off the Rotom Wash. He's going to lead off with his Rapidash right now. So they're, they're both nice and shiny, but I'm going to go right for the Bolt Switch right now. I'm Star, as you all know, I do simply start my Rotom. The space moment does a little over 40%. I'm not going to risk the Hydro Pants because, well, I don't want to take from that Rapidash Shadows. I do switch with Garros, but damn, he did that prediction, or rather, it was pretty straightforward. I mean, it is a Mono Water team, so you might as well go for that nice, um, that nice Wild Charge, which takes your Garros out instantly. Now here, we go into our Terracosta, and he's going to go for a Wild Charge. To do decent amount of damage over 50%, as it does activate my weakness policy, and I do go for the shell smash. Now, here's the funny part. The funny and sad part is my current cost uh, was unfortunately max was trained in max HP and max attack, and that's bad for a shell smash that is supposed to be max B. So even if, but since he's max HP, even at plus two, he's not going to outspeed much, but. I do get the plus four, thanks to Shell Smash and Weakness Falsity. I go for the Aqua Jet. That's a one hit kill, both runner, or so I thought. Look at that. Flame Body. Rather, the Focus Stash. You have Stash Wolf Runner, and this Wolf Runner is going to take out our Caracosta. It's sad, but, you know, Caracosta just couldn't handle it. So here comes Space Mama, the Rotom Wash. Like I said, this water team was pretty much thrown together in five seconds. Decided to be funny with some of the Pokemon. That turned out to be a big mistake. Rotom Wash does, however, kick out both Verona and back to my party it goes. So out comes Quillfish. I got my Quillfish out here, which isn't going to do anything in this battle because of Delphox. So Delphox is going to go for that nice Psychic. It's going to take out Quillfish, unfortunately. Sorry, Quillfish, you didn't get to do much of this battle. So, out comes my Ludicolo. I'm pretty sure my Ludicolo can take a special attack, because it does a decent special defense. So, they go for it. For Psychic, does less than 50%, and this Waterfall will hit that Delphox. My Ludicolo is Life Orb and finishes off Delphox. So, yeah, Delphox is down for the count. Although my Kurakasa was not EV trained in the right areas, it didn't show in this battle, fortunately. But here's Pyroar. Pyroar's gonna go right for the Hyper Voice. That's obviously gonna finish off Lethal. It's probably back. So yeah, Lethal is down, and in comes Space Mama, the Rotom Wash. We go right for the Hydro Pump, bring it to the fifth. It does not miss. It hits Pyroar. Pyroar's gonna take a nice drink of that and faint to the Hydro Pump. So out comes Embor. And Embor is nice and shiny, by the way. I'm going to switch Rotom Wash out. I want to see if Tentacruel can tank a hit. So out comes my Tentacruel. And he goes for Head Smash, which does a hell of a lot of damage thanks to... Oh, you get the idea. Reckless. Now, the reason why I didn't switch 
keep Rotom in there. I didn't want to risk a Hydro Pump and having a Titan Smash kill off my Rotom. Because my Rotom is not defensive on this team. Yeah. It does take some recoil, which is good. In comes Space Mama, so I'm be I believe it's all up to Space Mama at this point. Go for the Hydro Pump. It does hit. And that's going to finish off the Embor. So Embor is down for the count. And next up comes Houndoom. Here comes the Houndoom. And I'm going to pray that the Hydro Pump does not miss this time. Because it hasn't missed so far in this battle. So Houndoom is Mega Evolved. And I do go for the Hydro Pump. Misses, unfortunately. He does go for the Dark Pulse. Really hoping Dark Pulse doesn't take out my Rotom Wash. And I do go for the Hydro Pump. Again, and this time it does hit. Which basically wins me the battle. I mean, this entire battle hung on Rotom's shoulders, so to speak. But yeah, that was a great battle, Nova 1000. And thank you guys for watching this Monotype battle. I should have some more battles up throughout the week. And please hit that follow button on my Twitch and Twitter. It would be greatly appreciated. I'm just, I just came off of a live stream. I'm stuttering. I am so hyped. But yeah, thanks again for watching, and I'll see you guys next time for some more videos. See you then.